good morning. It's March 4th, 2021. I'm on my way pulling my daughter's beautiful birdhouse for coffee and baked goods. We live in Pilot Mountain King, Northern Winston. Uh, she has an Instagram page called The Songbird House and a Facebook page called The Songbird House. Uh, she does custom orders. Does baking and things like that for folks, cupcakes, birthday cakes, things like that. She's very talented, very artistic, and her stuff is just real good. Um, I just want to talk about what I've been seeing as I look at the instant, uh, inst um, the social media, and what I'm seeing is both sides of where we're at today. If you're on the side of the progressive you're dug in, you think you're right, you think that take, uh, taking down conservative voices is your method of warfare to silence your critics, you think that you're saving people by doing that, but what are you really doing? So those folks think that hurting your feelings is like murder, that Offending somebody by saying plantation, which is what happened to the Creighton coach, got in huge trouble by after they lost a critical game against a team they should have beaten. He said, We got to stick together. We all got to stay on the plantation. And he got scoriated for that. So, what they're trying to save us from is hurt feelings. And it's just impossible. You're never going to live this life and not have your feelings hurt. You're gonna have disappointment. You're gonna have people say things in a certain way that make you feel bad, a teacher, a coach. You can't live your life trying to protect your feelings. This is not going to work. That makes us so soft as a nation. So they're dug in thinking that hurt feelings is murder. We on the other side, or people that wanna go back to common sense, we're dug in because we ain't going there. So what's, what breaks the divide? What, what, what's going to be the thing, right? Well, I've been saying it for months. Justice. God sitting on his throne saying, okay, enough is enough. I'm going to show everybody, like the Red Sea, I'm going to show everybody that heaven is powerful, that I am powerful, that I'm all powerful. And I am going to reveal that there is such a thing as law and order and justice, that I am the ultimate arbiter of right and wrong, because he is, no matter what. But the people who are dug in about hurt feelings, they don't know that yet, but they're about ready to find out that they cannot trick people anymore. This has to happen or else we're done, right? So we're in a place where only God can deliver us. Only God's power is going to work because he's the one that can turn a heart off so it doesn't work anymore. He's the one that can expose lies by causing people to be found out by law enforcement. He's the one that can uh, cause a war against evil to work like our government, our secret agencies, the good guys, being able to find the, the perpetrator, the, the, the find out who, the, who are the people who are double agents and things like that. God can expose all this and we need to keep praying for that because that's the only way it's going to turn around. Because this, this divide, you can't convince somebody that, that uh, hurt feelings are not the end of the world. That, that, that we're right and they're wrong. Because, and then you continue to say mean things about them, right? You keep calling them liberal or whatever, whatever it is, libtards. Or, um, you have to feel sorry for them. Because they are lost. They are lost and they are stuck. Most of these people aren't the criminals. They're just the believers that fall for the lies. So our heart has to be bigger. We have to expand the capacity of our heart to realize that when God shows up and he exposes all the criminality, all the evil, especially with the children, 
when they start to see this, they are going to flip the other way, these folks. And they're going to turn on those people that they trusted, just like their parents. Many of them come from broken homes. And when their parents divorced, it tore them to pieces. They can't talk about it because their parents, you know, they still have a relationship. They can't go up to their parents and say, you blew it. You pissed me off. I No, they take it inside of themselves and they take it out on themselves and they, and they think that they were the reason why their parents divorced they just can't explain it but they're tore up inside and now that they're going to find out that they've been lied to by so many people that they trust they're going to turn on them and, but they're also going to be angry at the at, at everything and they're going to need people that are compassionate loving leaders who are going to tell them to stop crying and put their big boy pants on and, and start living your life, not for the reasons that you thought, but for the right reasons. And they need to come to Christ. Christ is the only answer. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. It's the only way for them to heal because he can do surgery on their heart. So today, realize that this divide is not going to change with rhetoric. This divide is not going to change when we post things about how stupid Dr. Fauci, you know, evil he is. Yes, we know he's evil. He needs to be put away. He needs to go to jail or executed or whatever because he's evil. And Joe Biden is fake and it's not the real one and all that. And he, that eventually will be exposed because it is what it is. You can't hide that stuff forever. Know that it's going to be exposed. God is going to expose it and God is going to fix it. That's it for today. For today.